Nah, this is like an interesting video. I ain't gonna lie to you. Epidemic of trash black content creators. Goddamn. Good thing your boy's on the ride. But let's hurry this up. I got work. I'm trying to clean up my room. And I'm hungry. Without further ado. Damn. Shit. Alright, so without further ado. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Negroes a platform. Huh, huh. Huh? So sick of niggas. Y'all heard this quote. Stop giving these Negroes a platform. Huh, huh. So Damn. Sick of what? Y'all heard this quote before. At the cost of something being educational and enlightening for a collectively oppressed culture, entertainment from the oppressed will further darken that casted veil in the illusion of progression and autonomy. If you haven't heard it before, it's because I made it up. Where black people were largely stereotyped and wanted to become rappers and basketball players have now morphed their ambitions into becoming gamers and streamers. And still rappers. And ballers still. Now I know you see your AMPs and your Gideons and iShow Speeds and think, that's so fun, I want to spend all my time watching that or I want to aspire to be that. And is that a bad thing? Not necessarily, no. Mm -hmm. But is it a good thing? Take the phone away from this nigga! Hell no. Ignoring the fact that none of these guys are actually influential, they're actually bad influencers. Why are they bad influencers? Because they're currently a strong representative face of black culture. And what does that look like? Niggas that are loud, borderline obnoxious, and occasionally partake in some other asinine shit. There's a level of entertainment to it, definitely. But now it's at the point to where it promotes a class of ignorance and chicanery. Now, I'm not saying the entertainers that we put onto a pedestal didn't work hard for that platform. Being born black automatically forces you into a system of adversity, bias, profiling, discrimination, social, economical, and political injustice. The problem lies in the idea of how they further push black. Okay. I mean, let's be honest here. It's also what some of the audience wants to see, like, but I have been seeing like a difference within the audience. And folks like Kai and Rage, A and P and all of them, they, they don't really be doing all that that much. And plus, folks are gonna tell you that it's scripted. My bad, I don't want I made a five sandwich, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a man that only likes meat and cheese on his, you know what I'm saying? Playing Jane, but you know what I'm saying? Hey. But anyways. When folks tell you that it's scripted, it's scripted. Now, I ain't gonna lie, it gets crazy when your, when somehow your dick start falling out in front of folks. That's when shit get weird. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, and then all the... Well, this isn't just black content creators. It's just we'll say well, we're on the top of black content creators, so let's stay on the topic. All the 20, 20 v ones and shit. Yeah, that shit is annoying. Ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, my thing is, Shotty, if yo if your Instagram ain't popping after this twenty v one, what's really going on? Like, do you just get paid and just move on? I don't know. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm just asking. Is it all scripted? I could have sworn on that Tiana Trump 20v1 with, with niggas. Some nigga ate her ass. Yes. There's nothing wrong with eating ass. Some of y'all might be looking at me like, Word, nigga? Hey, I say it again. There's nothing wrong with eating ass. But you ate her ass on a YouTube video. Where's the decor? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being honest with you, you know? But let's get back to the video. It's a short one. Capitalist agendas disorder and further exemplify this heat haze of this neo American dream. And don't worry, it's not just the streamers that are pushing this bullshit out. It's the rappers and other quote unquote content creators also. Hmm. They've all had some hand in creating this image of who we are becoming. Austin Black. Austin McBroom Black. 
If he black, he don't look he don't look look black. I ain't know. Coming and who we are being grouped with via association fallacy. You see, let's say when someone like Jake Paul says something dumb or goes on to make a fool of himself, that's on him. That's only and largely on him. But when a black Vine stars or KSI found it funny to pander to a white man's perception of us, that ignorance is reflected upon all of us. I don't even like watermelon. What these creators sometimes forget is that they're black. I don't got me neither. Like I don't know. Y'all be y'all be mouthing that watermelon. Hey, some some folks do. Not even just niggas, just humans in general. What do y'all get out of it? Like, is it a juice? Like, watermelon ain't the best, uh, a fruit. Now, pineapple, pineapple, we might can talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest. Hmm. Mm. Blackness is their brand identity, and it contributes to their exposure, which makes any departure from what you have established a costly venture both in business and social awareness. In other words, if your foundation is built upon you acting like a then your reputation will persist as long as you maintain the image of a Let me state, the content creators I mentioned are not that. These guys, however, <laughs> Lord Jesus, okay. shame is free. What we've created now is a status quo to black success in the social media space. But what people seem to forget is that all of us are replaceable. We exist until our contracts run out and then they construct another one of us to take center stage and help big companies fuel their pockets and keep us on the lower stratum of the social class blinded and entertained. It's a nasty system and none of your gods give a damn about it because the money and opportunity that comes with it are far too lucrative to pass up. Now I know ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit Sharif because if I was in their position would I take the money too? I can't definitively say I wouldn't as much as I would say I most definitely would. But the point I'm trying to make is that why is it every time a majority of major black creators rise to prominence, they do next to nothing, purposeful, to better educate their audience that we are not to be pigeonholed into this niche that certain people wrote the blueprint for. When was the last time a nigga told you to read a book and you did it? Side hmm. note, please, free hmm. my hmm. people from these motherfucking podcasts. I swear to Anubis, mm. y'all jump on for an hour and a half and be talking about mm. a whole bunch of nothing. I don't want to hear about why niggas ain't shit. I no, 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 I ain't gonna lie. That, that relationship shit do be annoying. No, I ain't gonna lie. It's an interesting insight to how y'all that niggas and, and women do y'all wrong. Well, you mean this nigga cheated on you and had a baby on you and you still took this nigga back? And you thought the next dude wasn't ish because, because of how the past dude thought of you? Like, where'd I do that at? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sandwich and chips, y'all. Be honest. Nah, treat people the way you want to be treated. Like, and when you think about it like that, damn, he treated you like that. So how did he? How did he want you to treat him? How did he expect you to treat him? don't want to hear about your uneducated and internally racist opinions about black women. I don't want to hear about how many times you got cheated on. I don't want to hear about your blue fast real estate scheme with an over-exaggerated portfolio. I don't want to hear about what Blueface and Prashan did. Some of y'all gotta realize you don't have the personality to listen to for 10 minutes, let alone mm. a whole ass hour. Let's get mm. stack fifth. So, actually speaking, just because you can do something, that doesn't mean you should. And I know I could be coming across as a hater. But I'm not a hater. I am an iconoclast. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Woo! Um, I'm play that. All right, y'all. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Join society. Throw in a comment down below. What else you guys like to see? Um. Hey, watching that video gave me a good little insight. It's a good thing of what I plan on doing 
I plan on doing because I do like to make content and like make like shit just to make it. Oh well. Back to what I was saying. It's a good thing of what I plan on putting out and doing is like I feel like it's real good content. It's real good content. And how I'm gonna do it. And how I'm, I gotta market it real good and everything. It's just it takes very articulate planning. But I have the dream, I have the insight, I have the vision. You know what I'm saying? And so on that note, I'm gonna say don't after hearing that video, after watching that video, don't be like, dang, I shouldn't be a content. Just do you, you know what I'm saying? Just do you, but I I will tell you, content is getting, it is getting the pattern. You can see the pattern, like, across. It's a, it's a pattern. But it could be just a method. You know what I'm saying? Follow the method, do what they did. It, it just, it's just you. All right, y'all. Where is it?